beautiful kudu ball. Not yet fully grown. He's still got another twist to his horns when he's fully mature. But they are one of our most striking antelope. You can see he's already got his cohort of ox pickers keeping him company. They are early risers. I could have done with one this morning when I woke up and found a tick embedded in the skin between my fingers. Maybe I should tame an ox picker, Seb, for camp. Can come and help us get rid of our tick problem. I was very cross. The kudu's got his friendly bird helpers to help him avoid that problem. Hmm. Surprisingly tolerant kudu bull. They're usually quite nervous. This one has been very obliging. Unfortunately, in a situation where I'm going to have to move off the road in a few moments because there is somebody waiting behind me wanting to get past. Oh, Fleming Grimace. What did you smell there? See how he's lifting up his top lip, opening up the vomeral nasal organ or the organ of Jacobson that sits sort of around about his palate and basically tastes the smell opens up the pathway for all of those chemicals to enter into his mouth. All animals do it. I personally think rhino are the funniest looking when they do it. With their big white rhino, with their big wide top lip. Okay. Bye-bye, Mr. Kudu. I need to move off the road.